All right, guys, welcome back to another cinematic mic review. Today I'm reviewing Kate Shortland's Black Widow. Black Widow stars Scarlett Johansson, Florence Pugh, David Harbour, and Rachel Weisz. The film is about the female Avenger on the run after the events of Civil War, which leads her to reunite with her sister to try to stop an old enemy she thought was dead. After watching the film, I have to say it's not what I expected it to be. And it's kind of uh, something I went in already knowing. At first, when the trailer, when all the news came out that Black Widow was going to come out, it got me excited. And I, I was like, cool, Black Widow movie. And I, when the trailers came out, I was like, cool, I was still getting excited. I would see promotions. I'm like, oh, cool, interesting. And then as we were getting closer to the release date, I ended up having this feeling that, you know what, I have this gut feeling that something's just not going to be right about Black Widow. And I think I was right about that. The film seems to rely more on action than to tell like a good story for Natasha Romanoff. Ever since they talked about a Black Widow movie, it got me interested because I'm like, hey, man, she's a side character. She has no powers. I mean, it's a spinoff or a standalone film. And sometimes spinoffs and standalones are great. I, I find some of them are interesting. There wasn't any greatness to this story as the previous Marvel films. I mean, Marvel's known to write a, a good story for being a genre of superhero films. I mean, they're still able to deliver like great storytelling. And here it just seemed like that great storytelling, that epic kind of just like kind of toned down. I mean, the movie's not like uh, bad. It's not like really bad, but it's it just it doesn't flow right. I feel like I wanted something more serious, something more grounded with Black Widow. I didn't want to go back to the whole Avengers type of superhero thing of explosions in the sky and all that jumping from like falling, free falling here and there. Uh, I thought this was going to be more Black Widow kind of in her at her level, but still be an entertaining film. But we end up going back to like what we've already seen before. There were certain things I was questioning about this film, but I thought it in my head and I'm like, maybe we've had so much Marvel movies that we already are supposed to um, accept these things already. But there were a few things that I was questioning, but I'm like, you know, I'm not going to say anything. Along with the story, the villains aren't even that interesting in this film. I was looking forward to Taskmaster. I thought he was going to play like a big part. I mean, he does play a big part, but not like big, like as I thought it was going to be. And it seems like Taskmaster is just like a, a side character. It's just something like to turn on and off. And I thought it was actually going to be a, a real character that's really um, picks up that suit or makes it for themselves and decides to go against a Natasha bit. Yeah, I just didn't like the story of how they worked it out with um, Taskmaster. And even the, the main villain of the film, I, I didn't find him that interesting either. As I said, I didn't want to go back to like big superhero things with the Black Widow film. If it, the ending of this film, when they're trying to find the Red Room and then we end up seeing that it's in the sky, it got me so annoyed that I'm like, are you serious? We're back here again with things in the sky, floating things. I mean, we got that in Civil War. We got it in... Avengers, Avengers 2, I, I mean, how many times are we going to have to deal with uh, floating cities in the sky and then it falling? The film seems to have like way too much comedy in it. I mean, the comedy is not bad. I found it funny, but it, I feel like it takes away from the seriousness of Black Widow and her story. Scarlett Johansson is great as always as Natasha Romanoff, the Black Widow, and Florence Puzz is entertaining to watch. The one who, who is really hilarious in this film is actually David Harbour. As one who collects Marvel MCU films, I have to say that this isn't one that I'm going to be adding to my collection, which makes it sad because I was really looking forward to it. I really thought it, it was going to be that one standout film, even though it was going to be about the side character. I thought it was really going to be a film that stands out and one that you have to have with along with the other MCU films. And I thought it, it would be it was like something impressive. I guess I see Black Widow and Hawkeye and any other characters that are like side characters. Sometimes I see them as the underdog. And that's what makes me cheer for them when they're announcing like films for them. I'm like, oh, that's going to be interesting. I mean, they're like low characters, but who knows? Maybe there's a big story to tell with them. I mean, uh, I'm a fan of underdog characters. So that's kind of what made me excited for the film. It's not a bad film, but it seems like it's a film that they said, oh, let's just throw a movie out there for the fans. And it seems like they didn't take the time to develop a good story as much as they took with the because I mean, Marvel's known to tell like great stories with the previous films that they have, even though, like I said, they're, they're the genre that's the superheroes and they still deliver a story. And here, it, it wasn't that impressive as the work that I've seen them done before. I also don't know if I'm getting tired of Marvel films. I mean, I remember when Endgame was over, I was like, okay, that's it. I don't think I'm going to watch another Marvel movie because I already had enough and we already got this ending to it and that's a good conclusion. 
And by now it just seems like they're just throwing it just to throw out their, um, and that's kind of what I found with the uh, Black Widow. I do not recommend Black Widow, so that's my review on the film. And if you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe.